feel for you? Uh, I think today it went well. Uh, there's a lot of good players in here, and I, I just, you know, I, I felt like I just gave energy, and that's what what I do, you know. So uh, just gave energy and just played hard on both sides of the ball. What are you learning about this process and about yourself as you go through it? Uh, I think I'm in uh, learning like how to take care of my body and how like the the NBA season is gonna be like you know day to day going to workouts in different cities and just traveling you know and uh, I I just been enjoying the process you know this uh, taking it all in because you only get to do it once. So. How much running did they ask you to do, you and the others to do? Uh yeah we we had to do uh 20 sprints in two minutes you know. Uh, I haven't did that since the ignite season, so it was, you know, it was a little tough. I got 18, but uh, yeah, it was, it was smooth. How did the the ignite experience impact you? Yeah, the neck, the ignite experience uh, impacted me a lot. You know, come from JUCO to uh, to the NBA G League, like man, like it, the, the pace was faster. Uh, you know, the defensive terminology was different, and just learn how to be a pro is different. You know, and I, I got to be around like uh, some good vets like Amir Johnson, Pooh Jetter, Kevin Murphy. So learning from them, like they've been through it, you know, they 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 have like 15 plus years in the uh, pro. So I learned a lot from them. What's it like trying to showcase yourself as a draft prospect for G League Ignite when you only get like, you know, 14 games to work with, num to put up numbers? In? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm saying the, just the small sample size of the season that is yeah. G League Ignite. And you know, making sure you make every game count. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, like the, uh, the the Ignite season was a little different from like the college season where they have more games than us. But yeah, I feel like uh, we, we had like a little bit more than 15 games. We had like 25, I think. But uh, yeah, like I feel like that was, that was enough to showcase what we needed. It. I wish we could have played for like a championship, like in the NBA G League championship, but uh, you know, we, we didn't get to, but it's all good, yeah. You probably all read the same thing that you had a grandfather who was the mayor of Yakima. Yeah, uh, my grandpa uh, Henry Beauchamp. He was the first black mayor of Yakima, and yeah, like that's someone I looked up to. You know, uh, R. I. P. To my grandpa, but uh, I still look up to him, and I know he's watching over me. And I feel like I'm here for a reason, like to keep carry that legacy in, in Yakima. You know, because uh, he helped a lot of people uh, in Yakima, and it kept, like I was a young boy just watching that, and it kind of like carry on with me you know so like I, I don't want, I just want to help the, the youth and give Yakima hope you know did you cross paths with Corey Kispert growing up in the Seattle area uh no I didn't but I I, I remember watching him uh he used to play for the Kings and yeah he I, I know he was a, a amazing scorer and and yeah he, he's here right right yeah, yeah okay yeah so yeah he, I, I grew up watching him though he's a little bit older than me mm -hmm. well, what are some of the things you do well on the court yeah I feel like uh I do, you know, my defense versatility. I can guard one through four. Uh, my athleticism and length, and I can run the floor and fast break. I feel like that's my, my strength right now, and I'm, I'm still working on my shot. I know I didn't have a good Ignite se uh, shooting season, but I, I know I could shoot the ball because I shot 40% uh, when I was at JUCO. So this is this, this, this reps and uh, getting behind the line. It's a little bit farther from the college, but I'm working on it. And, uh, I plan to keep working on it. I want to be a great shooter. Had you met with the Wizards before at the Combine or anywhere else? And if so, what was the kind of feedback that they had given you? Uh, no, this is my first time meeting with them. So yeah, I'll, I'll interview with them after. And then we were hearing that you two were going up against each other in the last couple workouts. Oh uh, yeah, me and uh, Oche. Yeah, so yeah. how did that change? You guys now know each other's nuances? Coming yeah, into so here yeah, and... we, we, we've been uh, on the road for this our third workout. So yeah, like we, we, we became like close and uh, I'm just learning about him and he's been learning about me. So, and I feel like I, I gained a friend, you know? So he's, he's, he's a nice person and uh, very genuine and yeah, like we're very cool now. So, Martin, when you look at some of the success other G League and that guys yeah. had in the league, how does it make you feel? Yeah, like you know, uh, going against Jalen Green in high school and seeing where he is now is just like wow. And you know, we dreamed of this, you know, and we've been playing against each other since uh, like middle school. So, like to see where he is and w to see where I'm coming, you know, like it's it's amazing to see. And I feel like yeah, we just got to keep going. And I feel like after years and years as going that we're going to be like become stars you know mm -hmm. in the nba
and then earlier you said how you had a couple of vets in the G League night. Right. Even though you didn't go to college, how do you feel like that kind of made you even a bigger prospect because yeah. you kind of have that grind and know what it's about? Yeah, I, I feel like uh, having those vets, you know, uh, they, they learned how to, uh, they, they taught us how to take care of our body and just really enjoy this process. Like, definitely they were like aligning on uh, enjoying this, like this process of going through the draft and uh, going to these workouts and just carrying yourself like a pro and treating people like with respect and how you want to be treated. So, you know, I, I carry those things with me and uh, I learned a lot from them. Like, this is not on the court, but I feel like the most important thing was the off the court stuff that we learned. When Dyson Daniels comes through here, we're going to ask him about you, but okay. let's ask you about him. What, okay. what, is, what does he bring to the, to the table? Yeah, Dyson Daniels, uh, he's not just a good basketball player. He's a good, he's a great person, you know. Uh, I remember me and him went on a trip to New York and we, we got, we bonded and we, we, we got close and like, yeah, he's, he's, that's my, that's my brother for life, you know, and I'm rooting for him and he, I know he's rooting for me. So yeah, he, he, he he's, he's a killer, you know. Uh, at first, it was a, like in the beginning of the season, it was a little rough for him. But uh, as he kept growing, you could see like he's going to be a star in the NBA one day. And a six-seven point guard, six-eight point guard, uh, man, like he's going to be amazing for sure. What about Jaden Hardy? We just talked to him the other day. Yeah, uh, Jaden Hardy, probably the best shooter in this uh, in this uh, draft. I feel like, and uh, yeah, he, he's another one that uh, who kept growing as a. Uh, the season uh, kept going, and uh, yeah, that's my that's like one of my close friends that uh, I was with, and we were on the same agency, Clutch Sports. So, man, like we we've been together for like almost a year now. So, yeah, like I'm I'm room for him. I know he's room for me. So, I, I hope I hope he does everything he wants to accomplish. Where have you worked out so far? Uh, I worked out in Atlanta, Houston, Memphis, uh, Chicago, and Cleveland. And now Wizards. <laughs> so, Where else are you going to go? Uh, I'm going to New York tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to the Pelicans, San Antonio, uh, Charlotte, uh, Timberwolves. And there's one more I forgot, though. So you're working out for a lot of teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then with you being a Washington guy all the way out there, is anybody in the league that you either have reached out to or you're hoping to reach out and just get some information or yeah. how to be? Yeah, I definitely, uh, I talked to DeJounte Murray. That's like my big bro. And yeah, he's he's another one that I looked up to because seeing his progress from uh, where he came from and uh, how he, he grew up and seeing where he is now, like that's inspiration to me. Like, and I feel like as he kept growing and growing, like that's that's someone I like, I feel like I can be in his shoes, you know, just to keep keep working. And he worked so hard to get where he is now. It's, it's like amazing to see. and. Also, like uh, Jamal Crawford, Isaiah Thomas, uh, Michael Porter Jr., I still talk to him. And like, there's a couple others, but yeah, I still I still talk to the Seattle. Love, they, they show love always, for sure. T. Ross? T. Ross, no, I never, I never met him, yeah. You'll like him, he's a nice person. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I never came across him yet. And Jason Terry, the Jet, yeah, that's my big bro.